Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Gronert, and today we are going to draw and label a spider. You only need two things to be able to complete this activity. A piece of paper and some colors. Okay, before we begin, let's take a look at the body parts that a spider has so that we can really draw our spider correctly. Let's take a look at the story, Creepy Creepy Crawling Spider, to remind us of those body parts. Creepy Creepy Crawling Along, who has eight legs that are long? It is a spider, round and fat. What do you think of that? So spiders have eight legs, important. Creepy Creepy Crawling Fast, what is that running past? It is the spider with Two body parts, look at the spider as it darts. Two body parts. Spiders have two, a cephalothorax and an abdomen. So now we know eight legs, cephalothorax, abdomen. Creepy, creepy, crawling down, what do I see on the ground? It is a spider with eyes and fangs. The spider also has many other things. On the cephalothorax, spiders have pedipalps, six or eight eyes, chelicera or mouth parts, fangs and eight legs. On the abdomen, spiders have spinnerets to spin silk. Those are the spider's body parts. Did you remember those? Let's take a look again. Spiders have eight legs, six or eight eyes, a cephalothorax, pedipalps, fangs, an abdomen, and spinnerets. So those are all the things that we need to remember to include when we draw our spider. Are you ready to get started? Okay. Let's draw a spider. When we finish, our spiders are going to look something like this. Pretty cool. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and begin with my paper. When I have my paper, I wanna start, I'm just gonna use my black marker so that you can see. If you want to use a pencil, that's also a great way to start. So the first thing that I want to do is draw the spider's head. When I draw the spider's head, I kind of want to put it near the top of my page, but not all the way up at the top because I want to have room to add the names of the different body parts. So I'm going to start it about right here. Let me show you. At the top of the head, I kind of make a little bit of a bumpy shape instead of just a plain circle, but you can make the spider's head with just a circle. So I'm going to start kind of with a circular bumpy shape for my head. And there it is. See how it's kind of bumpy right there? It makes for a nice spider head. Now that's the cephalothorax. Yeah. And now I want to add the abdomen. For the abdomen, I'm making an oval shape at the bottom of the cephalothorax. So here's my oval shape. And now I have the two main spider body parts. Here at the back of the abdomen, I want to draw some spinnerets. So I'm just going to make two little tiny lines sticking out from the back, just to show that that's where the silk would come from. And then at the top of the spider's head, right there, I'm going to make two fangs because spiders have to have those fangs to inject their venom into their prey. When I make the fangs, I draw them with a V shape and then color them in. Now, the spiders have pedipalps next to the fangs. They're longer than the fangs and they're kind of like antenna. If you see this spider's pedipalps here, I'm going to draw this spider's pedipalps just in black, but they're longer and a little bit wider. Their antenna on insects are kind of wider than pedipalps on, are 
thinner than the petty palps on the spider. So there we go, I have the two petty palps and the fangs. And while I have my black marker, I want to draw some eyes. Now remember spiders have six or eight eyes. Some of them are big, some of them are little. So that's kind of fun. I get to draw some circles to make eyes. So I'm gonna start with the two eyes in the center of the head that I'm gonna make bigger. And then I'm going to add some smaller eyes next to them. Two big eyes on my spider. There we go. <gasps> Eight eyes on this spider. Two. Now I need to draw the legs. Now the legs are really interesting. On spiders, the legs are kind of segmented, which means they're in pieces. So when I draw the legs, I don't want to just make a curved line. I kind of want to make angles on my line. Watch how I do that. Here's the first leg. And remember, spider legs are attached to the cephalothorax, not the abdomen. We do not want to draw those legs on the spider's abdomen. So if you notice, it goes boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to do that on the other side. So I have another leg that's segmented coming right there to the cephalothorax. Okay, are you ready for the next? I have two legs, we need six more, let's do it. Here's another leg. And another leg. If you notice the first two legs on the spider are going to be facing the front of the spider's body. So the four legs in the front, then the next four legs are coming down the other direction. So now I'm going to continue with those segmented legs coming from the cephalothorax and go down, down on both sides. Remember, the legs aren't just going to be little curved lines. You want to kind of make them Oh, look at that spider has some creepy long legs. So I have eight legs. I have a cephalothorax and an abdomen. I have pedipalps. I have fangs. And I have the spinneret. I think I have all of the parts. Now, before I color my spider, I want to add those names. Remember, I have them right here. The best way for you to do this part of your spider is to pause the video here and then write out the labels on your spider so that you can see all of the words perfectly. If you need to, pause the video now to copy the words onto your spider. I'm going to set mine down. The first word is eight legs. So I want to draw that to show the legs. I can really draw it anywhere. I'm going to draw it kind of over on the side and write eight legs right there. Eight legs. Now I have six or eight eyes. So now I'm going to write the word eyes and I want those to go kind of near the eyes. So I'm going to kind of put it right over here. Eyes, E-Y-E-S. Eyes, look at that. Then I want to write the word <gasps> cephalothorax. Oh my goodness, that's such a long word. Cephalothorax. And remember, the cephalothorax is the head of the spider. Okay, I'm going to write that right over here. C E P A A L O T H O R A X. Oh, I can barely fit it on there. Now, because it's over here, you can't really tell what I'm writing it for. So I'm going to add a little arrow there. I think I might add an arrow for the legs too, just so you can really see what I am labeling. Look at that. Label for the cephalothorax and a label for the legs and the eyes. Okay, what's the next word? Pedipalps. Okay, the pedipalps are these. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that word. P-E-D-I, 
P-A-L-P-S and draw a little arrow straight to a petty pal. My next word is bang. So I have to write that word in the same area. Boy, that area gets a little crowded with all the words we're using to label. F-A-N-G-S, fangs right there. Look at that, fangs. Now I need to label that abdomen. Oh, that one's easy. There isn't a lot of stuff over there. There aren't a lot of words to write. So here we go. A, B, D, O, M, E, N, abdomen right there. And I'm almost done. The last word is spinnerets. So, so cool. S, P, I, N, N, E, R, E, T, S. And I'm going to draw a little line to the spinnerets. And then do you know what I'm going to do? I want the spider to be starting a web. I'm going to draw a line of silk coming out and turning into a web in this picture. Very. Love it. Go. Oh, that looks neat. There's the web coming out the silk. And now I get to color my spider. Now, I want to color this spider to look like a garden spider because it's really one of my favorite kinds of spiders. So what I'm going to do is I'll color the video. I'll, I will color the spider and show you when it's all done. Oh, there we go. I have a colored spider. Look at that. I tried to color it so it looked like a garden spider, which is my favorite. Now it's your turn. Finish your spider, add the labels, and color it beautifully. I can't wait to see how your spiders turn out. Have fun, everyone.